Hello, it's Kylie from Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we're going to be going over how to add testimonials to your new KWIDX site. Uh, this is just a quick and easy way to get those up and going. Um, so the first thing you'll need to do is log into command. And once you're in command, we'll come on over to the left side here to sites. And once you click on sites, you'll come up to the top to the agent site pages and once you have agent site pages up we're going to want to come up to the right side here and click on create a new site and you'll see you'll have two options to add on my agent site or as a standalone page we're going to want to add this on my agent site so we'll go ahead and get that created All right, and you will see this blank screen here. We're going to start in the top left, and we're just going to call this Testimonials page. And feel free to call it whatever you want. Now, the first thing we'll have to do is set up the layout of the page. Now, this is pretty straightforward. Um, depending on how many testimonials you currently have, this could take just a few minutes, um, but it's fairly straightforward. So if you come over to the right here, we're going to want to first add a layout block. And so what this layout block will do is either center it, put it to the left of the page or the right of the page, whatever you prefer. In this video, we're going to center everything. So I'm going to click on this selection that says the one third section. So we'll go ahead, click and drag to the center of the page. Okay. And so now you won't see anything until you hover over the top here and you'll see I have three different columns. Now once that has been completed, we're going to come over to content blocks. Once you're in content blocks, we're going to go ahead and click and drag text and you're going to drag it to the section you want them to appear. So as you can see, I have a couple choices middle, the right, or the left, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the middle. You'll see where it says insert your text. So now is the point where you can go ahead and add your testimonials and you can copy and paste whatever you need to do. In this case I'm just going to type some in here. Let's just say awesome job. Okay and you can put who it's from from a heavy customer. And so once you have your text in there, I like to go ahead and come over to the right and click on divider. And we'll click and drag. And you'll want to make sure it's in the smaller box. You see here we have the shorter green line. But if I bring it down, it stretches across the page. This will put the divider in the space of that green line. So if you have more than one testimonial, you'll want to make sure it's in the smaller box. Okay, and it's very light there, but that divider's there. And if I want to add another one, I'll come over to text, click and drag, make sure I'm under my divider, and we'll call this one another testimonial from another happy customer. And so on and so forth. And I can go ahead and add my divider. So it's pretty straightforward to get these added in. Now once you've completed um, all your testimonials, you have all the ones you want up, um, you will come over to the section that says widgets at the top, and then click on that, and you'll come down to contact form. So you can click and drag this contact form into the middle of the page below your testimonials. And this will allow us to configure the page and also give clients a chance to contact you. So once you see your contact us box, you're going to come down to the bottom right and click on configure widget. Okay, and you'll see if you click on contact, it'll allow you to make some changes to the message or the title. And once that's completed, you'll come down to save and apply. And you'll see it says your template was successfully updated. 
And then we'll conclude this with clicking on Save Changes. Would you like to publish this as an agent site? Yes. Okay. So once that has been created, you're going to see it here in the log where it says Testimonials page. We now just have to add it to our site. So we'll come up here to the top right to Agent Site Settings. And then you'll come down to the right here where it says Pages. Click on that. And now we have to add a page. So over here on the left side, you'll click on the Add Page button. We'll give it a title, call it Reviews, and you'll have to fill out the URL slug. I always recommend just mimicking the page title, but if you do use spaces in the title, you will want to use hyphens in the slug. So we'll call this Reviews, and then you can put your SEO description, and when you're ready, we'll select Page and we'll find our testimonials page. Click on that, continue, and then we'll want to save the changes. So once that's been completed, you can come back over to Agent Site Pages. Sometimes you will see this unexpected error has occurred. Just go ahead and refresh the page, and then it'll appear. So I'll we'll come up here, and we'll go to our Reviews page and then you will see your reviews here at the top. And you're always welcome to add text box up at the top to give it a title and you can customize it any way you would like. Um, but that is how you get a testimonial added to your site. If you do have any questions, you can contact us at support at Have a great day.